Hi, my name is Carl, and I'm from the Management Study Guides content team. In this course, we'll learn about managerial economics in detail. Let's get started. Zen Garments is a large and reputed garments manufacturing company. It has established a niche for itself in the garments industry and is a leader in its industry and segment. In summer, it being an off-season, Zen announced a huge off-season sale and offered a discount of 75% on its winter wear collection. The managers at Zen did not correctly forecast such a huge demand, and so the company was not prepared for the overwhelming response of the customers to this sale. The demand was so huge that the company ran out of its winter wear stock and could not fulfill all of its customers' demands. Now, let us see what happened in winter. In winter, owing to the Christmas season, the discount on winter wear was a nominal 20%, as it was the on season. This time, the managers at Zen had taken care to keep huge stocks ready for meeting the demand of customers in the on season. However, owing to the nominal discount, the demand was far less than what managers had predicted. Zen also incurred huge losses due to the vast amount of inventory of winter wear that it had maintained for the winter season. Hence, you can understand that understanding the concepts of demand and supply and other concepts of microeconomics are crucial for the efficient working of managers to ensure the smooth and successful running of any business. This is where managerial economics can help managers, as it is an amalgamation of economic theory with business practices so as to ease decision-making and future planning by management. Managerial economics assists the managers of a firm in a rational forecasting of demand and supply and solving obstacles faced in the firm's activities. Managerial economics makes use of economic theory and concepts and helps in formulating logical managerial decisions. Managerial economics is a science dealing with the effective use of scarce resources. It guides the managers in taking decisions relating to the firm's customers, competitors, suppliers, as well as relating to the internal functioning of a firm. Let us learn about Introduction to Managerial Economics in detail. Course Objectives Explain what is managerial economics. Describe the purpose of managerial economics. Explain the principles of managerial economics. List the objectives of a business firm. Describe the role of environmental analysis in managerial economics. Explain the role of cost analysis in managerial economics. Explain the classification of market structures. Explain what is demand. Explain the law of demand. Explain the why demand curve has negative slope. List the exceptions to law of demand. Explain price elasticity of supply and supply curve. Describe determinants of price elasticity of supply. Explain how managers can apply managerial economics. List the benefits of managerial economics. Managerial economics is useful wherever there are scarce resources and it helps to ensure that managers make effective and efficient decisions concerning customers, suppliers, competitors, as well as within an organization. The fact of scarcity of resources gives rise to the following three fundamental questions. What to produce? How to produce? For whom to produce? The purpose of use of managerial economics principles in a firm is to answer these questions. Let us try to understand how a manager can use managerial economics principles to answer these three questions. Economic principles assist in rational reasoning and defined thinking. They develop logical ability and strength of a manager. Some important principles of managerial economics are number one, opportunity cost principle. Number two, Marginal and incremental principle. Number three, equimarginal principle. Number four, 
discounting principle. Number five, time perspective principle. Let us take a look at each in detail. Managerial economists should carry out a thorough analysis of the environment of a business. Thus, managerial economists should analyze the four environmental influences on a business, such as economic, social, political, and technological. Demand for a commodity refers to the quantity of the commodity that people are willing to purchase at a specific price per unit of time. Other factors such as price of related goods, income, tastes and preferences, advertising, etc. being constant. Demand includes the desire to buy the commodity accompanied by the willingness to buy it and sufficient purchasing power to purchase it. Demand Curve a demand curve is a diagrammatic representation of demand schedule. It is a graphical representation of price-quantity relationship. The individual demand curve shows the highest price which an individual is willing to pay for different quantities of the commodity. Income effect. The income effect means that with the fall in price of a commodity, the purchasing power of consumers increases. Thus, he can buy the same quantity of commodity with less money, or he can purchase greater quantities of the same commodity with same money. Determinants of Price Elasticity of Supply The following is a list of determinants which generally affect the price elasticity of supply in the market. Capacity addition, related infrastructure growth, perishable versus non-perishable, length of production period, marginal cost of production, Long run versus short run. Let's look at each in detail. Role of managerial economics in business decisions. Managerial economics helps in achieving business objectives by making strategic business decisions as follows. It is a source of information for planning and decision making. It helps in achieving of business objectives through proper planning. Managerial economics provides information that helps in synchronizing the firm's resources and capabilities with the competitive environment. Some of the ways which a manager can apply managerial economics are, if a manager wants to increase the price of the product due to increase in cost of production, he should analyze the price elasticity of demand for that product so that price rise is not followed by substantial fall in the demand of the product. It is the application of demand analysis to the real-world situation. Managers should determine the price and output with the acquaintances of market structures and approaches pertinent for determination of price and output in the given market setup. 